Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. And then I wanted to talk about hormones being one of the key things in looking at weight loss, metabolism, everything else, physical results wise for women. So a couple of things that I always wanna talk about for women is realizing that your health is cumulative. It is a combination of all the things, right? That you have been through, put up with all those things. So if you have done a lot of crash diets in the past, it's gonna make it harder for your system to just all of a sudden switch on and really get your metabolism started. A lot of times you're thinking, gosh, I did this thing before and it really worked before, but it's not working now. Yeah, because uh, the female body's really smart and it acclimates to things like that, meaning you won't lose the weight like you did before because your body knows better now. It's a protective mechanism. And you're probably thinking, well, that's not what I wanted. I didn't sign up for that. No one did. <laughs> it's just how your system functions. Yay. <laughs> so when we're looking at really focusing on getting the good results, you have to look at how your system functions. Everything works together and everything is cumulative. Your health right now is the result of all the things that you have been through and all the things that you've been doing and how well all of your systems are functioning together. We don't ever look at just one piece of things. It's all everything together. So keep that in mind as we talk about this stuff. It's not just looking at, oh, this one thing, right? And I put movement on here because it's an important piece of overall metabolism. But so often people are like, oh, I just got to start working out. If I did more cardio, oh, that would be it. I just got to do more cardio, more cardio. But you're not looking at any of these other things. These things don't seem exciting. I know. These things don't sound like, oh, this is fantastic. Oh, I can't wait to get started with uh, nutrient deficiencies. Mm, sign me up. <laughs> no. But these are the things that are holding you back from actually getting the right results and keeping them. Right? So if you need help with any of these levels, I'm going to put this in the right here in the comments, um, a link to get on the wait list for the next 12 week challenge. Um, this is, you know, you're going to learn a lot on the wait list about what the 12 week challenge is. We do a Dutch test. We check your hormone levels, stress levels, everything else. We check your nutrient levels. We talk about sleep. We talk about movement. We talk about your gut health. We talk about any other issues that you may be having with your health that's holding you back from your results. So keep that in mind. All these things are big key pieces. And so movement, yes, it's important, but it's not the first thing we cover, right? Sleep this is really, really important. This is essential that you're actually sleeping, resting, repairing to make sure your body can recover overnight to have the proper levels during the day. This is, I should do like a whole video just on sleep stuff because this is so important. Nutrient deficiencies. If your system is under a lot of stress, if you have hormone imbalances, your body will actually burn through certain nutrients, um, vitamins, things like that at a faster pace because it needs more of them. That means that there's not enough available to maintain healthy levels of hormone in your system on its own. That's part of the reason that you struggle. It's not that you're not eating enough of a certain vitamin. It's that your body burns through it too fast. You're getting terrible gas mileage with it. So that's why addressing these nutrient deficiencies and making sure you have enough of the right nutrients for your body to function well, it, it's all of a sudden like the most helpful thing. It's like, it's like you've been swimming in a pool and, and you've had like, you know, instead of having floaties, you have like, you have arm weights, right? You've got like five pound weights on your wrists, on your, on your ankles, and you're trying to tread water, trying to tread water. That's what it's like having nutrient deficiencies. Just trying so hard to keep your head above the water. All of a sudden, we replenish those nutrient levels in your body, we get rid of those weights on your arms and legs, and you get floaties. You get a kickboard to hold on to. Oh, how much easier is that? Yeah, that's because we've addressed these issues. Stop holding yourself back by, you know, not having enough of the right nutrients. And again, this isn't that you're not eating clean enough. It's that your body's burning through certain vitamin levels because of the stress you're under or because of the hormone levels that your body has. Yeah. Stress levels. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Who cannot get stressed when talking about stress levels? Um, this is one of the number one things that I find causes weight gain, weight loss resistance, and insulin resistance for women. If you have sugar cravings, carb cravings, you have to eat at night. Otherwise you can't sleep. We got to look at your cortisol levels, look at your stress levels and how stress is impacting your body and system and turning that around, actually, you know, really focusing on your stress response helps shift and change everything else. And then the top thing here are your overall hormones, estrogens, progesterones, testosterones. So often 
your body just isn't keeping the right levels there or processing them correctly to make sure that the levels are even and your body's doing what it should do naturally. Again, not that you're trying to, you know, mess up your hormones, but stress impacts your hormones. Nutrient levels impact your hormones and how well they function. Sleep impacts your hormones. Movement impacts your hormones. What? Oh my God. Yes. So, so what that means is that if these things are off, it also can mess up my hormones. And if my hormones are also messed up on their own, then that creates other problems and then causes more weight gain and everything else. Yeah. seems like this really round robin thing. Yes, that is why for women, it is not just about calories. It is not about just, oh, just you know, cut your calories by 200 a day and then you'll be able to lose weight. <laughs> nope. Uh, that is why it's not, oh, just do more cardio. Mm, you'll be fine. Nope. It is finding out what is going on with your system. It is finding out how your body is functioning and where the gaps are right? Take off those weights that are on your arms and legs and get floaties, get a kickboard, right? When we deal with the hormones, it's like getting a whole, you know, pool floaty. Yeah. Then you can hang out all day long and not get exhausted. You know, you actually get the assistance that your body needs. Stop fighting your system. Stop working against it. If you feel like you're, you've been following plans, programs, everything, and it's actually it made it harder to live in your natural body, you are not working with your system and it's going to keep being harder. That's why women who go through the 12 week challenge, not only get the tools, get the knowledge that they need about how their system's working, but you actually get information to keep going from there. Keep working with your body. That's the fun thing about this. So let me know if you guys have questions. Let me know if you need anything else. Again, um, you can get on the wait list for the next 12 week challenge. That's there in the comments. And if you need anything or have any other questions or want me to do a deep dive on anything that I've covered here, I'm more than happy to do it. You can also just leave a comment on whatever topic you have a question on and I'll do a video on it. Other resources I have for you are my podcast, The Female Health Solution, my YouTube channel, which is called Dr. Beth Westy, and then I have uh, my books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon, um, all about nutrition that matches your hormones in your cycle and nutrition for if you're in menopause. Yay! Okay, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you need anything else. Otherwise, I will see you later.